Dark Wolf here to bring you another review. This is a DC Nation review, and it is of uh, Green Lantern episode 21 called Babel. Now, all right. Now we've uh, we've been getting a series of of two back-to-back -back awesome, awesome Green Lantern episodes. Now. And they can't all be as good as the last few we've been witnessing. So, I get that. You know, uh, it only makes sense. Sorry. only makes sense. So, with that said, this episode, uh, well, basically, it starts where I had knocked them, knocked them for a loop. They're, they're about to fall on this planet, uh, and their bat, their personal batteries are drained, uh, now, nah, and the ship's batteries are drained, obviously I drained it. Now, this is funny to me because their personal batteries, I don't understand why they're drained. Because she, she, from what I saw last episode, she only drained the ship batteries. Now, if the, the personal batteries were connected to the ship batteries and then she drained them all, that I could get, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, yeah, yeah, and then... Personal batteries should eventually recharge after use, but because uh, the way all now I'm gonna just get a little lesson. The way all of these batteries works is by drawing in whatever element or emotion is associated with that battery. Thus, and the rings do it to a small extent too, right? Uh, thus, a green battery is absorbing the united consciousness of will throughout the universe, meaning every being in the universe puts out this energy when they exert will, and the green battery stores it. Same thing for the red battery. Um, the red battery absorbs anger, hatred, all those negative type of rage emotions, right? Um, and, you know, it absorbs every beings that put, every being that puts out that energy it absorbs that, and that's how you get the red power, and so on and so on and so forth. Um, and to a lesser extent, even the rings slightly do this, which is why the more will you exert, or the more rage you exert, the more, for, for, for the two colors in question, the more powerful you become. Uh, but that's just a brief lesson in how batteries work, and thus, even if you were to drain a battery, it would still eventually recharge itself. Alright, uh, but, so, they're out of power, they crash, the rings are nearly drained, because remember, they just fought a war, you know, they just fought in a big battle with the Anti-Monitor, so they're already near, their personal rings are nearly done. Uh, Razor manages to hotwire his battery, which is still good, obviously, it wasn't touched by Aya, uh, into the central banks, they give it, like, a jump start to have enough power to survive the crash, uh, which is what happens, they fall hard. But in the process, Razor's battery gets fried too, and so now all three lanterns, regardless of color, are in the same boat. Less than 5% of energy left, uh, and they have a problem. The planet they landed on doesn't have a breathable atmosphere. It's a methane gas atmosphere. Uh, and so, they need to, they see a settlement. They need to get to the settlement, because in 10 hours, the main battery will recharge itself. Uh, so our three amigos, uh, go into the settlement, but the settlement is full of guys that, these little guys, uh, who don't like Green Lantern, so they shoot first. Uh, and, and actually even before that, it's, a, it, this episode's kind of funny, because they end up flying, and then they didn't have enough power to fly, and so they get to the city gates, and, you know, they get shot at, and they're hiding, and then the Green Lantern power is both both rings go out. Now, you have to understand that the rings are universal translators as well as processing and uh, providing energy that they can use to breathe with. Uh, so, so now they can't breathe. Uh, you know, it's funny. It's the first time we've seen Kilowatt's non-powered up form, which is which is interesting. And uh, they're, they're suffocating and now they can't talk to each other. Hence the name Babel. Uh, like the Tower of Babylon and God confused the languages. Just putting that out there. Okay, so then we get uh, Razor has just enough power to put a bubble around them 
and so they can breathe. Uh, they see transports going into the city and decide to hijack their way in. After they get in, Razor's Ring runs out of juice, and uh, now all three of them can't understand each other, and none of their wings work, and they're in enemy territory. So there's a lot of funny little j jokes here. You know what I mean? As they're running for their lives, and none of them can understand each other. I mean, at one point, this this guy was trying to sell them a way out, even though they, none of them could understand each other. So they're like, "What do you got to buy? You know, buy the rig or to use the rig?" And you know, uh, Hal pulls out a cell phone, and you know, uh, uh, Kilowatt pulls out some grub worms, and then Razor just starts pulling weapons out like he's a ninja. Ching 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 ching. And in the end, they wanted Carol, because Carol's picture was on his phone. Which is kind of sad, considering he broke up with that. She broke up with him, like, a few a few episodes back, but whatever. Um, I mean, hell, she fired him, and then she broke up with him. That is no good. But, um, so... So, you know, they, they, they end up stealing the, the, the truck, and the, there's this, this, this... And it's... The way it's done... Uh, it's almost, th it's Three Stooges style. I mean, uh, it's old school comedy, cartoon style. If you get, if you get what they were go going for. Because they steal the car, and it's almost like these old school, um, fire engines with two dudes in the front driving, and the other dude in the back by the ladder, you, you know what I mean? And that, so they're, they're like this, and it's, it's this way and that way, and they're arguing who drives, and it's all, it's all good comedy. Um... And they end up crashing the rig, they get captured, uh, they're forced to fight in these games, gladiatorial games, uh, and as they're fighting, again, none of them could understand each other, uh, they're, they're, gonna, they're getting their butt kicked, uh, but Hal, during the battle, notices that there's a Manhunter head on there. Now, the Manhunter head is full of green energy, which means Hal and Kilowog can recharge. Hal eventually expresses this, uh, they throw Hal at the monster, he punches it in the eye, and this monster is huge, by the way, it's a, it's a giant thing. And so they fight their way, finally they get the head, they say the oath, Kilowog says the oath in his language, which, which was pretty cool. They get their powers back, obviously, Kilowog hands Razor his head, and he's like, dude, Red red Lantern. Uh, so that doesn't work. But, but you know, they, they womp on him, with, or womp on her with green, green, Green Lantern moves, like Hal punches it, and then Kilowog hits it with the sledgehammer of, of green energy. <laughs> and Razor runs up, because it's not out yet, and just throws the, the Manhunter head at her. And it hits hits her, and then, and then she's knocked out. And then, uh, you understand now what people are saying? So they're like, what did you do to Mom? So yeah, that's why I joked saying it to her. Alright, so they break out of there. Uh, they go... They go back to the ship. They repair the glass on the ship. Uh, Razor grabs his battery. He's like, look, it recharged itself. I guess I don't have to steal one another battery after all. Uh, there's a joke. He's like, yo. Uh, Hal's like, yo, man. That, that, was, that was rough back there. But you see, the three of us, we did what Lanterns could do, huh? We banded together, even though we couldn't understand each other. And I know, I know you guys got the gist of my motivational speech right before we whomped them. And they were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right, the motivational speech that you said. Right, that we got that. We, we we got that. Right, Razor? Yeah, I got that. He walks away, they're like, dude, did you get that? Nah, I didn't get it. not a word. And so there was a lot of lot of lot of jokes. Um And so, you know, they get back on the road again, trying to find Aya. And that's your episode. Okay. Uh so, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say I enjoyed the episode. It was fun. But I was on such a high with the show, as far as the last two episodes being fives, you know what I mean? That to be given like a three, you know, and that's what I'm going to rate this. It was a good episode, it was funny, it was entertaining. That's what it is, that's the key, it was entertaining. It really had nothing to do with the story, except to stall the story along because things were moving fast. So, that's the purpose of this episode. And to give us a break from the tension and the drama with a comedic break is really it, this is almost like intermission is, is what it was this was intermission um because as far as story plot 
nothing got advanced. Hell, they didn't even talk about why she went crazy because of Razor. None of that. <laughs> so, I understand why they did it. And again, I enjoyed the episode. And had the episode not followed such ridiculously the best episodes I've seen after them, uh, I, I, I think I wouldn't feel the way I do, you know? So that's why I'm trying to look at this objectively, right? Because when you compare the other two episodes to this episode, it's not even a three. It's, it's less. It's like a two and a half. But if you take the episode uh, from a standalone uh, and an entertainment aspect, and, and just to see them work together and to see them depowered uh, and how they interact, then the episode goes back up to a three. So I'm gonna, I think it's a fair, it's fair to rate it a three. That's that's what I'm gonna say. So it was a good episode, enjoyable. Uh, again, not their best work, but I understand. All right. Um, and before I go, just to let you know, uh, there's, I've been putting this in my review, in actually all of the videos that I have done, uh, even back to the old ones. Uh, if you check on the bottom in my notes there about the video, there's going to be a petition uh, to try to get this show and Young Justice back on the air. Um, I want, you know, sign it, fill it out. It's a good thing. Let's try to get these shows back because the writing is is on the wall, but it's not a, it's not 100% on the wall. It could still be undone is what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, sign the petition, and uh, I'm done. So let me let me just say, click it up if you like it. Comment if you must, and subscribe if you can. And let's keep these shows of uh, the DC Nation alive. And this is Alert Wolf signing out.